Welcome to Shake the Room, Fire Nation. JLD here, and welcome to Entrepreneurs on Fire, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business professionals with great shows like Sales Evangelist. Today, we'll be breaking down how a home inspector became a real estate millionaire by 27 years old. To drop these value bombs, I have brought Tommy Har into EO Fire Studios. Tommy is now a 29-year-old home inspector turned real estate investor, and by the time he was 27, he was financially free and a millionaire through real estate investing. So Fire Nation, we will be talking about the best way to get started in real estate. We'll talk about how interest rates are impacting rentals, but something to think about in this area. We'll also be talking about how to buy real estate without using our own cash and so much more. And a big thank you for sponsoring today's episode goes to Tommy and our sponsors. Marketing Made Simple, hosted by my friend, Dr. J.J. Peterson, is brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business professionals. Marketing Made Simple brings you practical tips to make your marketing easy and, more importantly, make it work. A recent episode on whether vulnerability is a superpower in business is a must-listen. Listen to Marketing Made Simple wherever you get your podcasts. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash on fire, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash on fire now to take your business to new heights. Tommy, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something that you believe about becoming successful that most people disagree with. What's up, Fire Nation? Uh, Tommy Har, um, 29 at Columbus, Ohio. Something that uh, people don't agree with is uh, entrepreneurship takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and uh, just is harder than most people expect. So not often shared on the internet that way. Well, Fire Nation, that might surprise you coming from Tommy's mouth, considering the title is (laughs) Home Inspector to Real Estate Millionaire by 27 years old. But I'm telling you, there was a lot of hard work. There was a lot of grinding. There was a lot of time put into where he is today. And there are... Tommy a lot. And I mean a lot of people in Fire Nation who have been interested in real estate for years, but they simply don't know the best place to start. So I want to break it down right now. What is the best way to get started in real estate today? Yeah. So the best way to get started in real estate, it it obviously comes from where you're at monetarily too. So like it's a balance of time, how much time do you have, how much money do you have, and what what does that look like? So the best way, in my opinion, to start is what's called real estate wholesaling. So basically, it's a sales and marketing business, and you're looking for houses. So if you're driving down the street and you see a house that's boarded up, beat up, uh, that person may want to sell and at a discount. So what you do is you put that house in contract, you sell it to another investor, typically for cash, and you make that middle money um, right there in the middle, and you never own the house. So it's a great way to get in, a great way to build a business and create some active income to be able to buy real estate in the future. Now, let's not get too detailed here because we have a lot to talk about today, but okay. walk us through your first ever wholesaling deal. Tell us from knocking on the door to the conversation to the contract to finding the investor to the sale, the profit. Let's get into some details there. Yeah. So the first one that I ever did, so that I probably stumbled around it for at least a year before I actually closed my first wholesale deal. And this was 2018, 2019, maybe. I, the texting services were brand new. So mass texting. So basically what you do is you pull a list from online. So you can buy a list of public record data. And a big one is like absentee owners or high equity, meaning they own the house, but they don't live in the house and they have equity in the home, meaning they can sell at a discount. And I sent out mass text to that entire list. So I got their phone number, sent the text out. This seller came back and said that they were interested, ended up walking the house, putting the house in contract for $80,000 after some negotiations. What did they want initially? I think they wanted like 120. So 120 and then just talking them through it and showing them what was wrong and just reasoning with them after a while. Now, did you know how much they were into it? Like, did they owe any money? Like, what did they, had they bought it for? Typically, you will ask that. But I was so new at the time, I didn't even know to ask that question. But yeah, that's typically one of the first questions you ask is, hey, do you own this free and clear? Do you have a mortgage? What does mm, that look like? Got it. And so then what happened at that point when you got it down to 80? How'd you find a real estate investor? Yeah, so I was going to meetups. There, so there's real estate meetups in every big city. And if there's not one in your city, I highly recommend you making one. And it's just one of those things where entrepreneurs like to hang out with each other and talk about money, talk about business. 
So through those, through those, and also through Facebook groups, that was a main way to find my cash buyers at the time was posting it right in a couple Facebook groups. And I found my buyer right there. Fire Nation, one thing you just need to understand at the core is this. People that don't have money typically have time. And people that have money typically don't have time. So that's why you can use that arbitrage when you're at one of those ends of the spectrum. If you don't have money, your time is what you need to use that's valuable. And that's why when Tommy put in all of this grunt work and footwork and found a person and had the conversation and got them down to $80,000 and did all that, that work, that was time that a rich person or a person with a lot of money is not willing to put in because it's not worth their time because it's going to lead to a lot of dead ends. And so Tommy put in the time, sniffed it out, got the ball rolling, then found somebody with money. And he's like, you know what? I am going to pay more than Tommy put this under contract for or had agreement to because there was a lot of my time that was saved and Tommy's effort that went into that. And then you can leverage that. And so at some point, Fire Nation, you flip the script and now you're Tommy, who's a millionaire at 29 years old. And guess what? Now he's the person that can kind of go and, and have other individuals put in that grunt work and he can kind of say, okay, now... I'm going to take the deals that make sense that people are bringing to me in this scenario. So there's a lot of exciting things there. Anything you want to add to that, Tommy? No. So it's just kind of what I said in the beginning. It's it's uh, all a factor of do you have do you have money or do you have time? Because you typically don't have both, and you need to figure out which one you are. So if you have a really good job and you make a lot of money and you want to buy real estate, wholesaling is probably not for you. So you need to seek out those people that are going to do the legwork for you, and you're paying for a service just like anything else. Interest rates are making everything a little more interesting these days. And I mean everything, uh, not just yeah. real estate, but a lot of things. So let's dive into it. Can we still buy rentals with interest rates today? The big thing about this is everybody looks at real estate in the terms of cash flow. So are you buying an asset today that's going to spit you out more rent than you pay your mortgage? Let's say you get a mortgage for a thousand bucks and you get $1,300 in rent. You're going to be cash flow positive a little bit. With interest rates going up, let's call it in the 7 8% range, it's dropped a little bit here towards the end of the year. But that's just one factor of buying real estate, specifically rental properties. You have great depreciation, so you can write off uh, the income to your taxes. You can um, also get the appreciation long term. And then lastly, with the interest rate situation, if you have enough equity, if you buy that property right, you fix it up a little bit. If you have 20, 25% equity day one when you refi, you can refinance that property again in a couple of years and create your cash flow. So a lot of people don't think of long term, but it's an investment. It takes a long time for these things to actually realize. So let's again kind of go through maybe a little mini example that maybe you've seen recently because you know these interest rates right now are just continuing to kind of creep up. Maybe they're flattening sure. off. Maybe in you know later in 2024 they will start kind of d- dipping down, but what does that look like on a real world example? Yeah, so real world example, uh, a couple months back, we bought a house in Columbus, Ohio for $80,000. We spent three or four months um, getting a non-paying squatter out of the house. So I took a couple months to, of holding time. But after we got him out, we spent about $30,000 in rehab. So we're all in about 110, let's call it 120. And let's pause right here for a second. So I know every state's gonna be different. But what was the specific process you had to go through in Ohio to get that to happen? So basically, you just go through basic eviction things. You put a three-day non-payment notice on there. You send that to an eviction lawyer. They'll file all the paperwork and the process for you. And they'll kind of give you updates as you go. So I would highly, highly recommend if you are managing your own properties, just get a very, very good eviction attorney on your side. And they'll kind of walk your or step-by-step, hold your hand through the entire process. Got it. So you got the person out. Keep going. Yeah. So we got the person out. We put about 30 into it. So we're all in about 120. That property then appraised for $195,000 and we have it rented for 1600. So we, we have it, we have it stabilized. We have the equity and now we're getting a refinance on this property. And I think the interest rate we got was 9.125%. So very high, not great, but we have that equity in that property. I think the payment PITI is right around 1400 bucks. So not a home run by any means cash flow wise, but I know when these interest rates drop, I can refinance because I have the equity and create that cash flow long-term, but I have the equity. 
See, Fire Nation, this is where you can really play the waiting game when you find the right properties, get in at the right price, and you know that, hey, when the time is even better in the future, because at some point, you know, everything is cyclical. What goes up will come down. What is down will go back up. This is a cyclical world that we live in. You can jump on the better opportunities, and then, hey, maybe you're going to lock in, you know, a 4 or 5% interest rate at, you know, 15, 30 years, whatever that might be. And now you're like, okay, now I'm really sitting pretty on this. And of course, you have that equity as well. So we have a lot more to talk about when it comes to this, cash, et cetera, when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Are you ready to start your year off with increased revenue, faster growth, and record-breaking performance? Well, a powerful sales platform can make it all happen. And for that, there's the all-new Sales Hub from HubSpot. Sales Hub is an all-on-one platform thoughtfully built with the tools and insights you need to communicate on a personal level with every lead, prospect, and customer. If you're looking for a better way to acquire customers, make smart data-driven decisions, and increase visibility, productivity, and predictability at a great value, look no further than Sales Hub. Some of the other platforms out there take months and months to learn and integrate, but with Sales Hub, you can be up, running, and on your way to your best quarter yet in just minutes. I know what you're thinking. Sales Hub must cost a fortune. Nope, it's free to get started and will grow with your business as it scales. And with more than 1,300 integrations and a ton of valuable add-ons, you can customize it to your exact needs. With Sales Hub, closing deals is no big deal. Head to hubspot.com slash sales to try it for free. If you've ever dealt with a lack of sleep, soreness after workouts, or stress due to the competing priorities in your life, then you've likely tried a lot of medications that claim they'll help. And chances are, your medicine cabinet is full of a lot of stuff that didn't work. I've been there too. Good news is, CBD can help. If you're ready to clear your cabinet and reset your health like I did, then you should check out CB Distillery. What I love is that CB Distillery's targeted formulations are made from the highest quality, clean ingredients. No fluff, no fillers, just pure, effective, CBD solutions designed to help support your health. In two non-clinical surveys, 81% of customers experienced more calm, 80% said CBD helped with pain after physical activity, and an impressive 90% said they slept better with CBD. With over 2 million customers and a solid 100% money-back guarantee, CBD Distillery is the source to trust. And I have a 20% discount to get you started. Visit cbdistillery.com and use code FIRE for 20% off. That's CB Distillery dot com code fire cb distillery dot com when I launched Entrepreneurs on Fire, an online store was the furthest thing from my mind. Then I launched three physical journals and needed a selling platform fast. And I found one that made selling so easy: Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. Whether you're selling dental hygiene products or digital prints, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system. Shopify's got you covered. And if you're ready for the internet's best converting checkout, know that Shopify is up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms. Plus, they've got Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star that helps you sell more with less effort. Need help? Shopify's award-winning support is there for you every step of the way. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash on fire, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash on fire now to take your business to new heights, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash on fire. Tommy, we're back and we often hear from a lot of individuals that cash is king and that one of the benefits of real estate is the leverage that you have in using other people's money, so to speak. Now, we talked a little bit about that before the break, you know, where you were able to go in and, you know, even at nine and a little over 9%, you were still able to get that interest rate and have a $1,400 loan on a month to month basis. But because of the equity you had, because it appraised at 195, you know, in the future that, man, you're going to be in a refi and be in a pretty sweet situation. So talk Talk to us exactly how we can buy real estate without using our own cash because either maybe number one, we don't really have a ton of cash or number two, we don't want to tie it up. It's all lever, right? So if you use your own cash, you can, like say you have a million dollars in the bank, that can only buy you maybe two or three properties at a time in Columbus, Ohio. And Columbus, Ohio is not an expensive market. So being able to find really, really, really good deals and give that opportunity to somebody that has money, whether it's in a 401k, self-directed IRA, um, you can get a home equity line of credit, cash, whatever it is. So let's take that example I just gave you, the $80,000. 
I could have bought that with my own cash, but we took it to what's called a private money lender. They lent on the purchase and they also gave us the renovation of that property. So they cut us a loan day one of $110,000. And what we did is we went off to the races, we fixed it up, and then it was worth 195. So it allows you to scale your business efficiently, effectively, and not constrain your cash reserves. And also at the same time, it gives you predictability. So being able to, as long as you can find really good deals and underwrite them properly, it's pretty low risk um, on that end. So that allows us to do 15 or so, maybe 20 of those at a time instead of using our own cash and being tapped to two or three. See, Fire Nation, this is what can happen when you have the experience, when you know the process, when you know the steps, which is why we're having this conversation. Let's dive a little deeper, Tom, because I'm just curious, yep. like what would you want Fire Nation to really know around this topic, especially if they're in that camp where they're like, you know, hey, I agree. Like I maybe I do have one or $2 million, but I don't just want one or two properties. I, I want to really leverage that. Or I don't, I don't have that much money at all, but I really want to start getting into this game. So at the end of the day, there is risk involved. So it's an investment. It's an investment for the person. So you have to understand nobody really cares about what's in it for you. You have to explain to the lender what's in it for them. Mm. So the biggest thing for them is that they're secured by a real tangible hard asset. They're not investing in stock. They're not investing in crypto. They're investing in that individual property. So what we do, let's go back to that $80,000 example. I took it to a guy I met uh, through, a, through, uh, through networking. I gave him a note and a mortgage, a Cognovit promissory note. So basically I'm signing personally on this property and I'm signing as my business and I'm putting a mortgage on that house that ties him in first lien position. Meaning that if Tommy Hard goes belly up bankrupt and whatever may happen, which is all possible, right? Because it is investing, then he has first right of refusal for that property. So if I don't pay him back, he forecloses on me and he now takes back the asset and it's discounted because he can also review and underwrite that deal as well. It's not like valuing a stock where nobody knows what they're looking at. It's it's a, it's a it's real estate. If everybody knows somebody that knows how to evaluate real estate. So that is what's in it for them and they make double digit returns. So we're paying anywhere from 10 to 14% annualized returns on these investments. Fire Nation, I hope you're starting to understand that this, at the end of the day, is a game. It's an investment. It's risk. It's a real game, but it's a game mm -hmm. you can play when you know the rules that, again, could end up going against you, could end up going for you. If you're willing to put in the work, you have a better chance of having the type of success Tommy's had, opposed to just kind of walking around blind, just hoping that everything falls into place. Now, you believe, and this kind of goes back to you know, your experience that by first becoming a home inspector, you were able to become a good real estate investor. Tell us more. Yeah, man. So I'm, I'm a big proponent on career capital. So what you do in the past is going to work in your favor or against your favor in whatever you want to go do. So I graduated college in 2017 and my dad's been a home inspector for 20 years. So I jumped into his business. He was a one man show. And I learned how to be a home inspector. Now, that's not the sexiest business. It's not the coolest business. You don't go around the bar talking to women saying, oh, I'm a home inspector. And they love that, right? <laughs> so <laughs> so as time went on, I was starting to meet investors. And I was seeing that they didn't really know construction, but they knew numbers. They knew how to find deals. And they were always coming to me asking questions about, hey, Tom, like, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? So I was teaching them about some of the construction aspects as I was learning and I was giving, bringing them value. And in return, I was asking them what they knew. Right. So I was basically an old school, like, Hey, show me what you know, I'll show you what I know. And that ended up making me an amazing uh, real estate investor because we talked about wholesaling in the beginning. I got to meet all these wholesalers in my town. I got to understand their systems because I was now a piece of their system and their puzzle. So they were ordering inspections and I was that person. So I would go talk to the sellers, ask them how they, were, how, how they put the deal together. And I was just asking a million questions. So learning that and then learning just, just sales. So my dad never had any marketing. He had never had any system, he never was on Google. So at 22 years old, I just had to basically figure out how to grow a business from no backbone, I would call it, and just work my way up. So it was, it was a mix of a lot of good things. Fire Nation career capital. I love that phrase. I hope you're really taking that in and understanding, hey, you have knowledge, you have skills, you have experience that you've acquired thus far in life. How can you, how will you use that going forward? Now, Tommy, 
we've talked about a lot of awesome stuff. Give us the one key takeaway that you really want to make sure Fire Nation gets from our conversation today. The one big thing that I tell everybody is, especially if you want to invest in real estate, it takes time and don't deviate from a, a bunch of different things. So if you want to wholesale, learn wholesaling, build it, build the bridge, don't quit when before it's done. Because everybody gets on the internet, they see people like me posting, hey, you can flip, you can wholesale, you can do Airbnb, you can do multifamily, but you can't do all of them at the same time. You have to, have to, have to learn something, master it, systemize it, build a business and put the right people in the place before you go chase the uh, the next big thing, right? So make sure you spend the time, the effort, uh, really the time to build it and build it properly. Now, Tommy, Fire Nation has been taking notes. They're excited. They understand there's a lot of opportunity here. If they wanted to connect with you, if they wanted to learn more from you, what call to action do you have for Fire Nation today? I post free content every day on my Instagram. I go live on Instagram every Monday. Uh, it's Tommy Har 5 um, A lot of real estate content. So whether you want to flip properties, whether you want to wholesale properties or hold rentals, uh, I give a lot of information on that. And then beyond that, I've built a community of nationwide investors. It's called the real side of real estate. So a lot of people on the internet don't share the real side, uh, I like to call it. So the failures, the hardships, the, the the things it really takes to become an investor. And we're putting all those people with the same mindset in the same room to be able to learn and grow together. So if you want to join the community, I'd love to have you. And one more time, where are they going to go to find out more information? Uh, it'll be in the link in my bio on Instagram. So Tommy Har 5 and that's H-A-R-R, Fire Nation. And you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You've been hanging out with TH and JLD today, so keep up that heat. For links to everything we talked about, visit eofire.com. Just type Tommy in the search bar. The show notes page will pop up right there. And Tommy, thank you, brother, for sharing your truth, your knowledge, your value with Fire Nation. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Absolute pleasure, brother. Thank you. Hey, Fire Nation, a huge thank you to our sponsors and Tommy for sponsoring today's episode and Fire Nation. Successful entrepreneurs accomplish big goals. That's why I created the Freedom Journal to guide you in accomplishing your number one goal in 100 days. And we're talking step by step. Visit thefreedomjournal.com. And I'll catch you there or on the flip side. Marketing Made Simple, hosted by my friend, Dr. JJ Peterson, is brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business professionals. Marketing Made Simple brings you practical tips to make your marketing easy and more importantly, make it work. A recent episode on whether vulnerability is a superpower in business is a must listen. Listen to Marketing Made Simple wherever you get your podcasts. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash on fire, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash on fire now to take your business to new heights.